Hello everyone, Luke Taylor here with another album review, and today's album is 2015 Trivium Silence in the Snow. Now, for those of you who don't know, Trivium is a metalcore band from Orlando, Florida, and they are my favorite band, or close to them. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Alice in Chains and so on, and some other bands, so a favorite band kind of thing is, is hard to say, but I do love Trivium, and I know their music really well. And I am here to talk about Silence in the Snow. Um, so the thing is, uh, I just want to say I wasn't the biggest fan of Vengeance Falls. So when Silence in the Snow came out and that first single, Silence in the Snow, I was like, yeah! I was like, yeah! That was so, oh man, just the... I just thought that was so cool and I was really on board. And I must say that this album is the third most important Trivium album for me. So, Shogun in Waves, Silence in the Snow. Now, I like this better than a lot of people do. There are some people who are like, there's no screaming, way. And, you know, you can't please all the people all the time, but um, I think we don't have the Trivium we have now with the sin and the, and the sentence and how just awesome their music is. I don't think we'd have that Trivium without this Trivium. And I know that Matt Hafey dedicated a lot of time to, you know, learning how to sing properly and to singing better and to extending his range and to be able to write songs that he can, that he can sing and that he can deliver still really powerful performances, but not just relying on screaming. And screaming is difficult. Singing is difficult. I think that singing is more difficult than screaming. Uh, and I've heard Matt say that in interviews. And I also know that... Um, he did a write Silence in the Snow back in the Shogun era. And um, I remember he's saying something about like he saw uh, Ronnie James Dio and he knew that he wanted to wait till he could really perform the material properly or just give the material the, the actual proper delivery that it deserved. And I really love the, the material on here. And it is a more melodic uh, album, more radio friendly but not in the way that like Vengeance Falls was, because Vengeance Falls still had screaming and aggressive songs and you know dystopian kind of themes. I just feel that um, Silence in the Snow is is probably hopefully going to be you know remembered a lot better than it has been recently. I, there are some people that that you know gave it bad ratings or attacked it or whatever, didn't like it, and that's okay. Um, I, I think the you know this is the one album with Matt Madrio, and I think that his drumming is really clean and crisp and beautiful. It's really fat. It's very nice. Um, they went back to seven strings on this, and their sound is really dialed in. Uh, Matt and Corey together, they're just one of the best duos in metal. I hope they never stop playing together. Um, they just they, they just play together so well. Um, you know, and I know this was also, so, you know, if you've seen my Shogun review, you know how I was really a fan of them playing Dean guitars, and they both had their own signature Dean guitars. Well, this kind of is like that, only with Epiphone and Jackson. So, of course, Matt has a uh, Gibson Les Paul custom that he played for years, but w with this, I think actually he kind of started maybe a little bit in the in the end of Vengeance Falls, but but this, he had this white, you know, this this white Les Paul, and uh, it was kind of kind of launching his Epiphone kind of deal and Epiphone thing, and. Um, Corey had the super cool uh, seven string Jacksons. And I feel that this is, like I said, this is the start kind of, of the trivium we have now. And, you know, with the sin and the, sin and the sentence, they brought back more screaming and more like things like blast beats and more aggressive elements and some, you know, just some progressive, some progressive hardcore elements. But with this, it was really establishing the, the melodic center. So when you hear a song like uh, The Heart From Your Hate, I think that kind of is born in this era, that kind of sound, which is so, it's such a nice pocket, such a great, catchy, you know, thing. And you listen to Until the World Goes Cold or Silence in the Snow, you can hear the ear for melody. I've heard people say it's formulaic. I think it's just really solid. I mean, whatever. You know, if, if you don't like it, it's okay, don't listen to it. I really like it. Um, this album helped me a lot at a certain time in my life. And when I was writing uh, Vault of Dreams, um, I listen to this album many times a day. Actually, one time I listened to it three times a day because there's a certain character, Olten, Skullhammer, if you know that name, Skullhammer. Um, 
this was his album, and like I would listen to different albums for different characters, and this was Olten Skullhammer's album, and he was a warrior, and he had a very, uh, very hard time, very difficult time, I should say. It's one of the hardest, uh, hardest times I've ever made for a character, and I'm like, Oof, I was really mean to that guy, but it was very cathartic to listen to this, to to write him, to develop uh, things that I was going through. So um, I'm more connected to this album probably than a lot of people who are just like, yeah, I knew Trivium, they listened to it, they're like, eh. I was just really connected to this and it really helped me and um, I'm very thankful to, to Matt and Corey and Matt and uh, Paulo for, you know, for delivering this and where they were in their life and writing this because I was really blessed by it and it really means a lot to me. So that's that. My rating, silver. So did you like Silence in the Snow? Do you like Trivium? What's your favorite Trivium album? Do you like the new album? Um, have you got to see him on tour? Please let me know in the comments below. And uh, please check out all my other reviews on this channel. I have quite a lot, and I love to review albums. I love to talk to you guys about albums. Uh, feel free to talk to me about them, too. And uh, check out all the videos I have. Please have a great day. I'll see you later.